All right, let's talk Wahoo RGT Magic Roads. Wahoo RGT Cycling app added a new feature to its Magic Roads that allows you to create segments, basically designate a specific section of a Magic Road, such as a climb, and each time you pass that section, your time is recorded and compared to previous efforts that you did or others did while riding with you. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a magic road in RGT, some tips and tricks for best results and how to create segments, and we'll take a look at how it all works. RGT's magic roads allow you to create and rewrite any route you want. So if there is a local route that you want to ride or a climb that you want to train for, or recon that course of your next big race, you can do that with Magic Roads. Basically, you can create your own course. To create a Magic Road, all you need to have is a GPX file of the route that you would like to create. There are many apps out there that allow you to create a route and export a GPX file, like Ride with GPS for, or Garmin Connect, for example. Strava, for example, allows you to export a GPX file from a ride that you did a route that I created or a ride that your friend did. The route needs to be less than 100 kilometer or 60 miles in length. All you need to do is send an email to Wahoo RGT with the GPX file using the same email that you use to log into your RGT account. And usually within a few minutes, you'll receive an email back from Wahoo RGT that your magic road is ready to ride. For best results, you want to send a clean GPX route to Wahoo. If the route was created using a GPS unit like a Garmin Edge or Wahoo Bike Computer or a GPS watch, these usually do not have enough track points to create a smooth magic road. So for best results in Strava, and you need to have a Strava premium account to be able to do this, is either create a route from scratch using their route creator, or in my case, I'm just going to use an Ironman course that I did to create a magic road. This route was recorded using a Wahoo uh, Element Bike computer. And even though the GPS data looks overall pretty good, but we can make it even better. So before I export the GPX file and send it to Wahoo RGT, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm gonna come here and use the create a route feature. Strava will take the route and clean the GPS data for me and smooth out the elevation. Another tool that you can use is GPX Magic. Uh, you can upload your GPX file to GPX Magic and it will smooth out the elevation and fix most issues. And by the way, if you find these tips helpful, I would appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit and I really appreciate it. And also subscribe so you do not miss videos like this in the future. Back to Strava. Now the route is created and looks beautiful. I'm just going to click on export GPX now and it will export the file for me locally to my PC. And this is the file that I will use to send to RGT. Attach it to an email and send to magicroads at rgtcycling.com. Four minutes later, I received an email confirmation from RGT that my magic road is ready to ride. Now you can create a race or schedule a group ride to ride your magic road with all your riding buddies. But if you are a badass like me, you can just ride it all by yourself. You can also ride the magic road using a workout from their workout library, or you can create your own workout. Or if you have a power plan that you would like to experiment with on this course, you can just send it to workouts at RGT cycling and it will appear under the uploaded tab, which is pretty cool. But before we go and ride that magic road, let's try and create a segment or maybe a couple of segments to create a segment. Log into your Wahoo RGT account using your web browser. From there, from the main menu, go to my magic roads and you will see a bunch of magic roads listed there. I wish they just display your magic road uh, first instead of displaying all these other roads. But if you move your mouse over this filter icon, you will find an option to select roads created by you. And uh, here we go. Here's the Ironman Ohio course that I created with the full map and some GPS processing information that they did to the file, like how many smoothing points they added and some other information. But where you need to go to create segments is the elevation profile down at the bottom. It is tiny right now, but hopefully RGT will make this a little bigger at some point in the future. As you move your mouse over the elevation profile, you will see this red dot on the map to show your location in relation to the elevation profile graph. So I'm going to create a segment here by clicking on the elevation profile graph where I want the segment to start and then 
click again where I want the segment to end. Then you can give the segment a name. You can create multiple segments if you want. Now, when you move the mouse over any of these segments, it will display that segment for you on the map. Pretty cool, right? Now we're ready to ride the Magic Road. And to do that, open the Wahoo RGT app and go to Magic Roads from the main menu. And uh, here is the Iron Man Ohio uh, Magic Road that I created. So I'm just going to do a quick ride and you will get a message that the Magic Road will be available for you in five minutes. You will start here under the start banner and RGT will add a bunch of other riders to ride with you. These are all bots by the way, not real riders. So you're not riding all alone out there. If you decide to create an event, you'll have a lot of different options in relation to bots and other features. So as you are riding and get close to your segment, you will see a notification that a segment is up ahead and here it is. And done. You will see your time here and your previous efforts as well. If you ride with other people, it will show them listed here as well. But since these are all bots, it didn't list their names. And that is exactly why I prefer to ride with bots because I always win when I ride with bots. In post-ride analysis, there is no place for you to view these segments, unfortunately, and Strava isn't going to display these segments for you either. Post-ride analysis is one area I would like to see RGT work on. So like I said earlier, I see this to be a handy little feature if you want to train for a specific local segment that you are trying to KOM or QOM or train for a specific climb. Let me know if you gave this a try. Would love to hear your thoughts and also any tips or tricks that I did not mention here, post them in the comment. And uh, by the way, if you are training for Ironman Ohio next year and feel like pre-riding that course, I made this uh, course public on RGT and I'll have a link to it down below so you can go ahead and uh, use it if you want to. Okay. Hope you find this video helpful. Uh, remember to hit the like button. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.